Learning more tonight about the suspect accused of stabbing three protesters in an attack Wednesday night at River Park. 41 year old Jamie Fonseca of Fresno was arrested late last night. Only KC24 cameras were there when Fonseca allegedly started swinging a bat or a stick and started lashing out with a knife. Investigators say he left a child in the car during the attack. Our Madaris Fab live at the Fresno County Jail and Madaris, what else is known about what happened? Stephanie Fonseca faces several charges, including three counts of assault with a deadly weapon and an illegal weapons charge for carrying that dagger. He was booked here at the Fresno County Jail. His bail set at $20,000. Horns blasting near knees in Blackstone as a man got out of his car and confronted protesters blocking four lanes of one of Fresno's busiest intersections. Got out and approached them and uh, basically ordered them to move to get out of the roadway. Um, they did not. It sounds like he went back to his vehicle, returned with a, a weapon. That's when things escalated. Captain Mindy Casto says 41-year-old Jaime Fonseca of Fresno left a child in the vehicle alone, went up to the group, and stabbed three of them with this dagger. Was was three people suffered um, minor stab wounds. They did two of them did receive uh, treatment at CRMC. All three will be okay. The demonstrators were part of the Defend Armenia protest to draw awareness to the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. A city spokesperson says they did not have a permit to block the road. I reached out to one of the organizers of the event who sent me this statement saying, quote, we blocked four of the six lanes to get the police department's attention to stand with us and make families protesting feel safe. This will not stop the Armenian community from spreading awareness and using our rights. Organizers say they reached out to police before the protest, but the department says they were not notified. Casto says in the future, demonstrators should stay on the sidewalks unless they have clearance from the city. Blocking the roadway is, is dangerous on a number of levels. Um, obviously, in this case, it provoked violence, but it, it, anyway, it can also provoke a, an unintended traffic collision, and, and we don't want to see that happen either. Investigators do not believe that this was a hate crime. They instead were calling it a road rage incident. Reporting live from downtown, Madaris Fab, KC24, local news that matters.